Well, you know, training an event horse is a very, um, well, it's, it's an extremely varied um, training program. So they have to do a lot of different things well. Um, I would say our, our typical week kind of consists of primarily two to three days of, of dressage, kind of intensive dressage training. That's becoming a very important part of our sport. Um, the fitness is obviously um, something we can never uh, compromise on, and so that's, that features hugely in what we do with them week to week. Um, so there's a couple days that are almost exclusively set aside for, for fitness work, um, and that can vary depending on where you are in the season. Um, this time of year where we're kind of just bringing horses back into work, it's a lot of long, slow um, hacking, jogging, and slow cantering. Um, so it's kind of a tedious process, but um, it's a lot of work, uh, a lot of miles being put on the horses, but at very, very slow speeds. Uh, and then the show jumping is in kind of cross-country jumping. That's that also something we probably try to do on a weekly basis. Um, horses will typically show jump. The greener horses may do a bit more cross-country um, week to week, but the older horses kind of hopefully know their jobs by that point, and um, we're probably doing more to make them uh, just rideable and making the right shape over the jumps. So um, the show jumping is typically uh, what we would focus on as far as their jumping training goes. But um, each horse has its own kind of unique uh, program. I wouldn't say we train them all the same way by any means, um, but uh, it makes for a very, uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a varied experience. Um, well, it, it can all be taxing depending on, on how much of it you're doing, um, but the, the fitness requirements are, are just huge on an event horse. Um, the amount of kind of galloping and, and just leg work we have to do, um, it just ends up being a lot put onto the horses, their joints, their ligaments, their tendons, and even just their musculature. Um, so you have to be really conscientious about making sure the horses are handling the work well and staying healthy. and. So that's a big part of running a, a top program is, is making sure the horses are really handling the work and that you're not just putting it into them without, you know, kind of listening to how they're, they're, they're dealing with it. Well, I wouldn't say that there's, there's any one part of the horse that, that suffers more than another. Every horse is a little bit different depending on how they're put together conformationally or even just how, they're, how they go, you know, the, their biomechanics. Um, can play a huge part in maybe what parts of their body tend to take more of a beating. Um, but obviously we, we're um, being kind of a galloping and, and, and jumping sport, um, you know, just concussion, concussion related um, injuries or soreness can, 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 can be, you know, common. Um, so, you know, things like their feet, their joints, um, you know, do, do tend to be things that we, we keep close eyes on to make sure that they're staying healthy throughout, you know, their competition season, but also just as they're getting fit and ready to compete. Mm -hmm.